Uh, hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, what is tool culture. Uh, but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know. Now I come to the topic uh, what is the stool culture you know. You know the stool culture uh, can help your doctor to understand and treat the problems with uh, the digestive problems in the digestive tract you know and the gastrointestinal tract. And there are many reasons why you might uh, experience the uncomfortable digestive system, you know, the digestive system symptoms, you know. And uh, in some cases, like uh, bacterial infections are the cause, you know. And your doctor uh, can order uh, a stool culture to check the sample of uh, your stool or the feces for the harmful bacteria, you know. And, uh, you know, a stool culture is different from the ova or the parasite analysis uh, of the stool, you know. And sometimes it is necessary for the laboratory to uh, start to analyze someone's stool under a microscope to see if any ova or the eggs and the parasites can be seen, you know. And uh, in stool culture, uh, the lab technician or the staff will grow or culture the bacteria living in your stool, you know. And this can help uh, to learn if any disease causing bacteria are present and uh, they will like uh, uh, smear a sample of your stool on the special plates you know and uh, those plates will contain a gel that acts as the growth media and will support the growth of bacteria you know and then the uh, lab staff will try to identify the bacteria they find and using uh, like uh, uh, dye staining you know so microscope analysis and the other testing, you know. And the example, and the lab stop uh, may look for the bacteria like uh, uh, Campylobacter species or maybe Salmonella species or uh, <coughs> other one, uh, Shagila species, you know. So these are the most common species of the bacteria which uh, uh, that lab stop will be looking for, you know. And uh, if you are, uh, uh, if you have recently traveled outside of the uh, your country you know and uh, the risk factors uh, uh, may be like uh, of uh, other species like Vibrio species or maybe uh, Yersinia uh, and Taro uh, Colitisia you know and maybe uh, Aromonis you know so these are the different species of the bacteria which you can uh, get from if you're traveling from outside of uh, uh, the advanced countries to any third world countries you know and they may also like uh, perform other tests including other tests for the uh, like uh, clostridium uh, uh, like deficit you know or C deficit you know uh, or uh, ANOVA or the parasite exam to look for the parasites you know so and it depends on the doctor's request you know what does he wants to look for you know and the next thing is why is uh, uh, this culture test is performed you know well the infections of your digestive tract can cause the uncomfortable symptoms and in some cases uh, they may even be life-threatening you know and uh, many different infections can cause the similar symptoms such as like fever or maybe nausea or vomiting or uh, abdominal pain or abdominal cramping you know uh, and blood in your stool or maybe severe diarrhea all right so Testing your stool for the harmful organisms can help your doctor to identify the cause of this, uh, that, uh, those symptoms and the stool culture can help them to learn if the harmful bacteria are present and if uh, uh, they may help to learn which treatment uh, or which antibiotic will kill those bacteria, you know. So this way is a very useful test, you know. Now to conduct this uh, stool culture, your doctor will need to collect a sample of your stool, you know, and uh, they will likely give you a sample container, you know to collect it and this is usually a clean and dry and uh, wide mouth container uh, with the uh, like uh, airtight lid you know so uh, uh, some labs even include a special kind of uh, toilet paper uh, that can be used to collect the uh, like uh, sample you know and alternatively you may be asked to provide your own sample container you know? 
and you can use a like a, a bed pan or the other large containers to collect the stool sample and uh, you can also collect a stool sample by closing like uh, loosely like placing a plastic wrap uh, over your pilot seat you know uh, before uh, 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 going to the toilet you know and uh, then you can uh, use the plastic wrap to uh, transfer the sample into the co collection container so then you can send it to the lab you know? so there are, there are different ways to collect the sample you know and uh, the stool collection process can be more difficult with uh, infants in the diapers you know or someone with uh, active diarrhea you know and if you are collecting a stool sample from your baby, so your doctor may advise you to use a cotton swab to collect the sample from uh, the rectum, you know. And uh, they may also advise you to uh, place like a plastic wrap in your diaper to collect the sample. So it can uh, be tricky to collect the sample uh, that's uh, uh, free of urine, you know, and uh, especially in case of babies, you know. And your sample must be sent to the lab for uh, like culturing as soon as possible and at the lab you know technician will smear a sample of your culture onto the plates containing the gels that uh, encourage the bacteria to grow you know and then they will examine the bacteria that grow under the microscope so they will uh, they may con like stain them uh, with uh, special dyes to help them to identify the types of the bacteria that are growing you know and they may also expose the bacteria to drugs and uh, could potentially kill them you know and uh, it helps doctor to choose the right antibiotic to treat these uh, symptoms you know the problems you know. now once you get the results you know when the next thing is uh, how to interpret the results you know you know your doctor may help you to understand the results of your stool culture and they can also recommend the appropriate follow-up steps you know which may include like treatments or the further testing you know and if the harmful bacteria are found in your stool your doctor uh, may like uh, uh, prescribed antibiotics or other treatments and uh, if no dangerous bacteria are found then the symptoms may be due to any other cause you know and your doctor may order other follow-up tests for or the examinations you know and for example they may uh, look for the signs of irritable bowel syndrome or maybe parasitic infection or maybe any other problems you know and uh, when you are healthy uh, a variety of good bacteria and the other organisms live inside your intestines you know and this is normal uh, flora and sometimes uh, called your uh, microbiome you know, and it uh, helps to maintain your health now when uh, you become infected with the disease causing the uh, organisms you know they can kill off the good bacteria in your intestine and make you sick you know so the taking broad uh, uh, spectrum antibiotics can also leave you uh, like uh, vulnerable to the disease causing organisms and these antibiotics kill um, of bacteria in your intestines, you know, including your uh, the normal flora or the good bacteria, you know. So, in some cases, your normal flora may not re-establish themselves after a course of antibiotics. So, this can leave you open to the uh, like opportunist uh, infections, you know, and the potentially the harmful bacteria that are antibiotic resistant can survive and take over your digestive tract for example a, a C. difficile you know, is one of those harmful bacteria and the C. difficile infections can be very difficult to treat and they can cause like a, a pseudo membranous colitis so this condition is an like uncomfortable and uh, it's potentially life-threatening inflammation of your colon you know and a new and uh, like ex uh, exciting treatment for the like uh, C. difficile is uh, like uh, uh, faecal and bacteriotherapy and uh, this is also called as the stool substitute transplant you know and in this procedure a stool sample from the healthy person is uh, implanted into your colon you know? so in a similar procedure uh, a purified bacterial culture may be implanted in some way you know and the good bacteria you know, from the donor stool or from the purified culture can recolonize in your colon, you know. And this uh, helps you to recover faster uh, from a persistent C deficit, uh, sorry, C deficit infection. Thank you very much for watching this video. So, so the end point is that uh, uh, this uh, stool culture test is so very important to identify the bacteria, 
to treat the bacteria with the right antibiotics. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more information every day. Thank you and good night.